right. We uh, stood around for like 20 minutes talking to Pete, which is good, but uh, now we'll have some real, we lost some light because of it, so. Last week, the, uh, Oh, that I really needed a light last week. Because it wasn't cloudy like it was that other time. But yeah. So you probably want to turn it on now. How is it up? Yeah. Like this or more? Yeah, just turn it all the way up. All right. Oh, you know, last time I, I rode that, so um, it was a quick ride home. Well, just pop through here. Nobody's coming. Yeah, that one's like just a light and cost like uh, eighty dollars. And this one is like a light and uh, huh? I don't know who it was. This one is like a light and uh, a uh, um, and a speaker, <laughs> and it's like it was like twenty five bucks or something. So. All right, so we're gonna turn right here. I don't usually use that one because this one is strapped to my helmet, so I might as well use this one. Yeah, they've got on that one a uh, a red light, um, and the I so if you're like with the group of people at, at like when it's really dark, you can put on the red light so that you don't like blind people. But I don't think it's dark enough for that to matter. I mean, probably in the city where there's like street lights and stuff, it's just not gonna be dark enough to matter. But like. So the cars don't hit us, or so that we can see the road. What was that? Um, what is this light for, like, so we can see the road, or so that cars do not hit us? Oh, I mean, mostly to see the road, but I mean, if you really want cars not to see you, then you should turn it around and have the red light on. Yeah. Which sometimes I do use that. I'll have both lights on, and I'll have the red light on the back. But I don't bike at night that much, and when I do, I'm usually in the city, um, where there's street lights and stuff. like 88 I think yeah, today it was like in 50 it's like whole morning well a cold cold front came through and it rained I mean I always personally found the blinky lights to be uh, like not not people that have them but like for me to be kind of annoying like I've got a blinky light mode but 
But I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> it's just kind of annoying, I think. But yeah, see how mine's blinking? I think it's like people like it's easier to see if it's blinking. And it's like people know that it's a bike and stuff. Because it could be just be like a street lamp or something if it's like you know off in the distance and I don't know but what you really need is the night vision goggles plus a red light on the back. I mean I don't know how much night vision goggles cost, but they probably cost more than my light. <laughs> Okay. Night visions and like, yeah. So you're also gonna be wearing some like radioactive stuff in your head. Um. Well, never mind. We're recording, so I I will I won't ask my question. Ah. <sighs> they're doing over there so anyway we were talking earlier about uh there's somebody coming on the um the uh um on the uh like tomorrow um i can't you oh you said there was this festival in st paul yeah. so when's that over or just whenever oh. you get tired of it no. Ah. Uh. I'm I'm losing at eleven. Should be done. Uh, we can like possibly do like from like, but it's not guaranteed because there's also barbecue. Ah. Uh. But I'm. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go there. Well, just um, let me know because like Brent um Brent? is talking about riding tomorrow. Oh my god. So might uh i need to talk to him about uh whether or not he's going to saint cloud with me or not so thing that kind of irritated me about his text is he was like oh today would be a great day for a a road ride it's like why don't you do it then brent <sighs> but He's just he just lives in the moment so much. Yeah. Like I always plan everything. Yeah. I mean it was great like when he worked at Nagios because like he he didn't go exactly by my place, but like I was pretty much on the way home. So we could just throw my bike in the back of his truck and Yeah. Um was he also like biking to work all the time? Nah. I think he said the longest ride he's ever done has been like 30 miles, which I've done that on a fat bike before. Yeah. I just swallowed some fire. High source of protein. <sighs> the losing's not good, but. Why the hell do we have to lose to Duluth? What a bunch of assholes. They're not as bad as they used to be though. And they're also, in some respects, not as bad as the Twin Stars, so... You know. So give me the 
for it, its reputation or because it's like not even championship it doesn't matter uh i mean it's not good like i said um so duluth has dropped four points and uh we hadn't dropped any points so we're still a point ahead of them in the standings um so the top two teams go to the playoffs so um top two teams so yeah that's really what it's all about i mean this division is only two years old but duluth has made it both years the city missed out the first year but so right now minneapolis team is number one i think well they might be number two because the team from rochester might still be undefeated um uh yeah i don't know what the results were from tonight so um <laughs> uh, but uh yeah so if if they're called med city the team from uh from rochester if they um if they drew or won tonight then they're at the top of the league but uh And we'd be in second. So, I don't know when we play Rochester off the top of my head, but that's obviously a very big game. So, the next home game was supposed to be next Saturday, but I don't know because that team's on hiatus. I need to look at the new schedule. Because I just am thinking about the schedule on my fridge magnet. You can see my, like, the shadow of my GoPro in the light. It's kind of fun. a really terrible place to leave that scooter. <laughs> Jesus. This is even worse. What the fuck is wrong with people? Lights aren't on just yet. I don't know when they come on. Oops, sorry. Some of the like side streets are still kind of flooded, surprisingly. Some yeah. Like summer, well, that's what I was saying. Like last week, we tried to go down to see some of the flooding on the road, but. Huh? Do you think it's still I don't know. I mean, it rained last night, so it might be. Uh, but I don't think we have enough time to get down there. I mean, even if we took the light rail, I don't think there's enough time to get down there tomorrow to check it out. Yeah, only if we took like light rail to uh, Minnehaha Falls and then bike from there, then maybe the battery would last. Yeah, but I don't know, but like time-wise, I don't know if there'd be enough time. I mean, we could try it. Yeah. Um, I was thinking that might be windy, but it wasn't. There was this guy. You know the Trek Bicycle Company? Trek Bicycle? 
T R E K, you know, you have your okay. Well, anyway, they're a bicycle, they're like one of the biggest bicycle companies in the world. Um, but uh, they uh, he works for them and they're, they're based in Wisconsin, and um, anyway, he's coming up here sometime. He likes to mountain bike like Brent does, so. Uh, he works for them? He works for Trek, yeah. Uh, so I, he probably does, yeah. But he lives like out in the middle of nowhere, so like, he like, he like puts his bike on his truck, uh, back of his truck and like, drives his bike places. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why this this like little area is super like shitty for the for the bugs for some reason. Oh, it's close to water. Yeah, no, but I'm but we've been on the river the whole way, and I'm saying like that particular little dip is like super shitty, and I don't know why. They're also attracted to lights. Yeah, I guess those the lights did just come on, but. I mean, even last week, I don't know if the lights were on, and I remember it from last week. Actually, I think the bugs were worse last week. Although I was on that bike, so I was going faster, so maybe that's why. How are they going? How are they turning? So you're gonna uh, stay here until the end of the month, or what's your plan on that? Probably like till mid, mid June. So have you told Magios yet? Monday. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, mid June is uh, quickly approaching. <laughs> so do you, do you know people out there? Or? No. Like any friends there? Yeah. I'm trying to think, I'm just trying to think who I, one of my ex-girlfriends lives out there. Uh, I think she worked for some bank. 